How's it going, everybody? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, you can hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate it. But today's battle, we're facing off against Flare or Ruins Ray, one of my awesome rivals here in the Pokemon community. I'm using a awesome OU team where I get to try out some new Pokemon. I'm going to start out with Spiger here. Spiger the area ghost has a Focus Sash. Uh, he actually starts off with a Samurai, my opponent does. And that's great because that's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, we get up my Sticky Web and we try poisoning the Samurai with a poison jab, and I get to reveal my priority in the form of Shadow Sneak, which actually doesn't do anything, any damage. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I know that a plus two Aqua Jet will not finish me off here with Starmie out here, but um, I was so we're able to go with a Thunderbolt and take him out, which is great. Now the Sticky Web is going to come in handy as his Pokemon will be lowered. Uh, Speed-wise, I make a mistake right here. I go into Alexis, which is my Code Kiss, and even with a Thunder Punch and a Bullet Punch, my Code Kiss is really bulky. It can take two of those hits and roost off the damage. What I should have done initially, and I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't do it. Ah, uh, we go into Zap Sonic, and look at that. That does a lot less damage. So I don't know why I went into the Kiss the way I did. It's just a minor error on my part. Here's Bell, and I know that I I could go with the Thunderbolt, but the safe play is to go with the Shadow Ball. And looking at that damage, I'm like, wow, is that Bell, uh, the little gun, really physically inclined? Because that was a special move, and he didn't take that. It took him in one shot. So. I was a little surprised by that. Uh, here's Typhlosion, which Typhlosion, unless it has Focus Blast, uh, this Tyranitar laughs at this set. Uh, this Noctrium, it has Stealth Rock and Pursuit. So here, my opponent switches out and going to Pursuit Shop him, which actually does a lot of damage. Really good. He brings in Tyranitarum, and looking at this, Tyrantrum, I I know that it's going to probably set up on me. I was really surprised that it outsped me too, because if you saw that the sticky web was active, his speed was lowered. So uh, he probably has max speed, which would make sense for a Dragon Dance set. So here he goes with another Dragon Dance It's like, okay, this is getting scary. I need to take this thing out like right now. Uh, because if I don't, then he will take out the majority of my Pokemon. And I don't want that to happen. So, uh, expecting an Earthquake, we'll switch out and go into Alexis, the Code Kiss. But now I have to contend a Stone Edge. But he missed it, thank goodness. Um, yeah, if he hit that Stone Edge, that would have been game. Because I don't have any other priority. Uh, my area ghost is gone, which has the priority. It has to take out Pokemon, but not anymore. Um, so I'm really happy for Alexis for dodging that. Um, still nice here. And I feel bad for my opponent as well. So if I go for Roost, I will lose the flying typing, but he paralyzes my Alexis. That's kind of like payback, if you will. Um, and I also misclick. So... That's a little unfortunate, uh, but we'll just sacrifice Alexis because Alexis is known for speed. Uh, getting paralyzed just meters it so badly, but that's okay. Here's Zap Sonic, the um, Rotom, and I'm going to trick my item over. So now he's locked in on Fire Punch, which Noctrium resists. So if I switch in on Fire Punch, I know he's going to probably switch out of here. And so I'm going to predict him to switch out as well. 
Now, stuff also up. I'm begging for him to search out and sacrifice his Magnum, his uh, Kyphosion, because at the HP level that he's at, he's going to die to the stealth ox. And so, that's what he's going to do right here. And that's actually a really good play on my, on my opponent's part. So, he's going to go down as I switch out, go and get pings from my choice Scarf Agron, which a lot of people are not getting used to that. Short Scarf Agron just surprises a lot of people. And I do have speed Duggly here, but I miss the darn head smash and we get obliterated by a drain punch. Which is quite effective. Um yeah, that's kind of embarrassing there, but it's okay. Uh, we'll try it out next time. I mean, it's really fun to use a choice scarf on a slow Pokemon like that. Similar to, like, Kyrantrum, but Kyrantrum has a uh, Dragon Dance, which is another option, but it's okay. Here's Organo. I know immediately that it's going to be a Mega Organo. I actually saw the recent episode in the anime where they showed Mega Organo, so I'm not going to sleep on this Pokemon uh, after watching the episode. It's really strong, I realize. Um, regular Organo does not have as good special defense, but when it's Mega, it has tremendous special defense. So that full switch fails to KO, but we go into my Starmie. Go with the Surf, why not? Uh, but I know that Hitmonchan has really good special defense as well, so, um, but this particular Starmie has an Alakic, which will have a 30% boost of power, uh, and we are just short on the KO, which is like, gah. But, you know, it's okay, uh, we're going to get blasted away with the Thunder Punch, but, um, I surprisingly live it. I don't know why, uh, Starmie is not known for its, uh, Physical defense, I'll say. But now, uh, he is choice, so he has to switch out again. And, um, in order to take out my other Pokemon, which I believe that's my Kyranitar, he has to lock himself into Bullet Punch to really secure the victory here. But, um, you're going to see that Bullet Punch is not going to finish off my Starmie because I resist it. And I don't think my uh, Kyranitar will not get locked out by the Bullet Punch either. So I'm going to win this battle, but that was actually really close between the Samurai setting up on me and the Kyranitar as well. So it was anybody's game up until he missed the Stone Edge there. Uh, just a little unfortunate hats right there just to seal the deal there. But that was still a fun match. I enjoyed it, man. We'll have more matches in the near future. Alright, so that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe. And until I get new matches, I'll be posting more Wi-Fi battles for you all. Have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye now.